So here is an interesting look at this uh, second CPU design with the CPLDs running. And uh, I have a few oscilloscope probes put on it and I have a crystal on there right now or an oscillator. Um, and this is a uh, 10 megahertz oscillator. And so that means that the CPU is running at 2.5 megahertz uh, internal clock speed. And what's interesting is that you can see here on this display the uh, the light blue here, that's the uh, internal clock, the 10 megahertz clock. And then you can see the five megahertz middle clock and then the A clock is the purple clock on top. And that bottom dark blue line is the IO request line, uh, which is when we write to the IO port, which is whenever we write to update the, um, this display here. And we're running so fast, you can't actually see those updates happening because they're um, you know, running at a couple megahertz. Uh, but what is really interesting is that you know, this is sort of the edge of what you can do on this board. And you can look at the overshoot there and the ringing on the clock lines. Um, and even that IO select line you know, is ringing at, gosh, almost probably a volt, volt and a half. Uh, which is interesting. I mean, this, uh, these boards are two-layer boards. So there's no ground plane and no power plane. And in fact, everything was auto-routed. So the power and ground routes are just horrendous. They're like super long. Uh, and you know zero effort paid to having a little better coupling and a little less noise. I mean there are decoupling capacitors, but that's about it. So it's just an interesting look at with sort of a very mediocre board design that's certainly pretty high noise. Uh, you know we're still able to run the processor with a 10 megahertz clock at 2.5 megahertz, uh, which isn't bad.